Before you start, read all instructions and warnings. If you don't know what you're doing, leave it to a professional. In this video, we'll show you how to install front disc brakes on a 1950 Ford F1 truck. Remove the front wheels. Slide off the brake drum. Remove the spindle nut. Slide off the hub and bearings. Unbolt backing plate. Slide off the backing plate assembly. Remove the backing plate bolts. Clean and degrease the spindle. Orient the caliper mounting bracket as shown and install using the provided bolts. Temporarily tighten the mounting bolts. Check to make sure the bracket fits squarely against the mounting bosses on the upright. Remove the bolts. Add red Loctite 271 to the threads and reinstall the bolts and torque to provided assembly instruction specs. Slide the bearing spacer onto the spindle. Ensure the larger OD goes against the spindle face. Grease the spindle. Pack the bearings with high temperature disc brake bearing grease. Grease the hub. Install the inner bearing into the backside of the hub and rotor. Install the grease seal by pressing it into the backside of the hub and rotor, flush with the end of the hub. Grease the hub and install the outer bearing. Slide the hub onto the spindle. Secure using the spindle washer and OEM spindle nut. Bearing adjustment. Tighten the nut while turning the hub and rotor. When there is a slight bind on the bearings, they are seated correctly. Warning. Failure to back off the adjusting nut could cause bearing to run hot and be damaged, which could cause the wheel to lock or come off. Install new cotter pin. Remove the caliper center bridge pad retainer bolt, nut, and tube from the caliper. Initially place two shims on each bolt between the caliper and the bracket. Press the dust cap onto the hub and rotor. Mount the caliper onto the caliper mounting bracket using the bolts and washers. Temporarily tighten the mounting bolts and view the rotor through the top opening of the caliper. The rotor should be centered in the caliper. If not, adjust by adding or subtracting shims between the bracket and the caliper. Always use the same amount of shims on each of the two mounting bolts. Once the caliper alignment is correct, remove the bolts, apply red Loctite 271 to the bolt threads, and torque to assembly instruction specs. Insert the brake pads into the caliper with the friction material facing the rotor. Secure the brake pads in place with the center bridge pad retaining tube, bolt, and lock nut. The lock nut should be snug without playing the bolt or tube. Be cautious not to over tighten. Attach the wood flex line to the hard line. Add PTFE tape to the caliper fitting. Install the fitting into the caliper using a 7 16 wrench. Attach the wood flex line to the hard line and tighten. Route the flex line along the same path as the OE hose and secure the flex line as necessary to prevent contact with moving suspension, brake, or wheel components. Attach the other end of the flex line to the caliper fitting. Before driving the vehicle, be sure to bleed the brakes. Follow the supplementary instructions included with your kit for bleeding, pad bending, and minimum test procedure. Install the wheel and torque to manufacturer specifications. Warning, do not drive on untested brakes. Brakes must be tested after installation or maintenance. Minimum test procedure. Make sure pedal is firm. Hold firm pressure on pedal for several minutes. It should remain in a position without sinking. If pedal sinks towards floor, check system for leaks. Do not drive vehicle if pedal does not stay firm or can be pushed to the floor with normal pressure. At very low speed, two to five miles per hour, apply brakes hard several times while turning steering from full left to full right. Repeat several times, remove the wheels, and check that components are not touching, rubbing, or leaking. Minimum test procedure continued. Carefully examine all brake components, brake lines, and fittings for leaks and interference. Make sure there is no interference with wheels or suspension components. Drive vehicle at a low speed, 15 to 20 miles per hour, making moderate and hard stops. Brakes should feel normal and positive. Again, check for leaks and interference. Always test the vehicle in a safe place where there is no danger to or from other people or vehicles. Always wear seatbelts and make use of all safety equipment. 